Hi guys, thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. We'll be learning about SAP Business One, but since we'll be learning it in detail, so let's see about the things that are needed to be known before we jump into the SAP Business One. Let's see about the historical backdrop of ERP, benefits of ERP, advent and rise of SAP Business One, features and benefits of SAP Business One. Let's see about the historical backdrop of ERP. There is MRP, there is MRP2, and there is now ERP. MRP stands for Material Requirements Planning and was developed in 1970s to help manufacturing companies better manage their procurement of material to support manufacturing operations. MRP system translated the master production schedule into component and raw material level by demand and splitting the top level assembly into the individual parts and quantities called on or rather called as bill of materials. Now MRP2 is several steps ahead of MRP. While MRP was confined by receiving to the receiving dock, MRP2 incorporates the value stream all the way through the manufacturing facility to shipping dock where the product is packaged and sent to the end customer. ERP attempts to integrate the information flow from all the departments within a business. So uh, in a business there is a finance department, marketing department, production department, shipping and even hu human resource department that is the most important department of any company. Let's continue with the historical backdrop of ERP. So as already told MRP2 was a software and is a software that was developed to connect and manage manufacturing processes from product planning, purchasing raw materials, managing inventory, and quality control to product distribution. ERP caught fame quickly as it incorporated tighter control not only over manufacturing but also had a module-based uh, approach to the system to manage information and data of an entire organization. So e ERP does not only uh, deliver on its promise but according to an article a properly set up ERP system allows better communication and monitoring than even before better than even before giving all the department access to exact status of a customer order at a point in time let's see about the business environment business environment consists of two factors internal and external where internal factor consists of goals, policies, production capacity, production methodology, MIS, payrolls, customers, suppliers, competitor, governments, market intermediaries would fall into the category of external business environment. What are the goals of my company? What are the policies that I follow? What are the production capacities, whether I am a domestic business? or whether I am a, an international business. Do I have plants within the country or do I have plants across the globe? What is my production methodology? Do I rapidly change my production methodology or rapidly change the machines that I use? Or do I use a conventional and an old age machine for uh, uh, my production? What is the information flow within my system? What is the payroll that my employees get? Let's see about the external factors. Where, what are my customers? Are my customers situated within a domestic uh, box or uh, whether the, these are the customer or whether I'm dealing with a customer that are spreaded across the globe? Where does my raw material comes from? Who are my competitors and what they are using? What are the government policies for doing the business? Who are the market intermediaries? <coughs> Let's see about the ERP components. ERP would easily consist of an administration module where you would set up a company for a business. It would contain a financial module, a purchase module, a production module, a quality control module, a CRM, a vendor, a human resource module. Administration module would set your company for your business financial module will help you to set what are the banks account and what are the uh, the currencies that i deal in purchase would be related to 
the raw materials that you get from your vendors. Production is the most important part of any ERP. Quality control, yet another important part of any ERP. CRM deals with your customer and the sales. Human resource. What are the benefits of ERP? Let's discuss the benefits of an ERP. Now, the benefits of an ERP would easily uh, be testified by the companies those who are using ERP. Firstly, they are uh, they are able to achieve better and timely decision. They are able to achieve good and improve production methodology. So, the real time information for decisions without an ERP system. The team is a flying blind or they make decisions based on guesswork and rules of thumb because they don't have the data that they need. Sometimes they are right in their decisions but more often they are wrong. And because of these uh, lack of decision making they end up in bottleneck situations. Software companies often design their ERP system to support specific industry or verticals. As the ad customer, they learn industry best practices and incorporates them into the software. So by uh, implementing an ERP, a business would easily improve their production methodology. It would be very easy for a business to interact with their customer by, by uh, adopting to an ERP. By ERP, the customer is highly satisfied as they get their uh, goods delivered at time and as they get their responses from the business uh, uh, in time. With an ERP, businesses or the companies can have a tighter control on their operational costs, improve operational efficiency, reduce lead times and increased throughput. Of course, the most important benefit of an ERP is the secure data integrity. Let's see about the advent and rise of SAP Business One. SAP Business One came into picture in early 2000. ERP giant SAP got interested in an Israeli company known as Top Manage and acquired it and rebranded it as SAP Business One. Since SAP Business One was a module based and it was a complete solution for SMEs and it attracted the uh, the interest of SAP giant or rather the uh, the German giant SAP company to not only purchase but also to enhance it for a better uh, use. With SAP Business One, one can have quick and efficient implementation time. Single solution for all business needs. Also, SAP Business One is suitable for manufacturing, warehouse, management, trading, retail and service industries. Let's see about the features and benefits of SAP Business One. SAP Business One is firstly affordable. It is fast and efficient in its implementation. It has a minimum uh, maintenance. A user-friendly GUI. It is a single business management solution. It, it is a well-integrated software system with Microsoft business with Microsoft Office. Reporting is another feature of SAP as you can create and manage reports that helps lead to better clarity within the business. It is having a light and easy architecture which we will be discussing in the coming sessions where we will see how the SAP Business One architecture looks like and what is the flow within the architecture. What are a APIs? What are What is my DI? What are What is the SDK toolkit that SAP Business One has provided us? And lastly, it comes with SAP support. Stay tuned for the next sessions where we would learn about SAP Business One architecture introduction SAP Business One modules look and feel basics of sales and SAP sales module. Thank you.